Hey guys, this is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with ComicBookInvest.com. I do a lot of comic and pop culture related content on this channel. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So in this video, I'm gonna do my weekly picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. Some great books this week. We got a new Conan title coming out for Marvel. We also got some great independent titles, some great variants. So let's not talk about it. Let's head over to my computer and I'll show you what I got. Kicking off the week, we have Alien 3 number 4. It's the official adaption of the original screenplay for Alien 3. There's a regular Johnny Christmas cover. There's also a regular price variant by Trad Moore. I love the Johnny Christmas cover. That's why it's in this video. Batman Who Laughs number 3. All the pieces are starting to fit together as Batman Who Laughs acquires another key element in his plan. One that is linked to the founding fathers of Gotham City and to a legacy started by the Wayne family and protected by none other than Oswald Copperpot. Regular cover by Jock. There's also a regular priced variant by Ricardo Federici. Detective Comics number 998. In this issue, Dark Knight turns to Jason Blood and Etrigan for help. There's going to be a regular cover and a regular priced variant by Gary Frank. Flash number 64. This has Flash and Batman teaming up in the part two of the Price story arc. There's three different covers for it. There's a regular Chris Burnham cover. There's a regular priced Tom Rainey variant and a regular price blank variant. Justice League Dark number 8. This is part 1 to Lords of Order. Wonder Woman and the Justice League Dark in a race against time as the other kind close in on the rest of the magical community. With the words magic failing, the team needs to rally the magic wilders of Earth together, but can they face down Dr. Fate and his newly assembled Lords of Order? We have a regular cover. There's also a regular priced variant by Kelly Jones. Red Hood Outlaw number 31. This issue has Jason Todd teaming up with an ally he couldn't have imagined, Wingman. But wait, wasn't Jason the face beneath Wingman's mask in Batman Incorporated? When it's all over, Red Hood arrives at a conclusion that will shake the streets of Gotham City forever. We have a regular Pete Woods cover. There's also a regular price variant by Mateo Scalera. I like the Scalera cover for this. Titans number 34. Here we have Beast Boy Unleashed. There's going to be two different covers for it. There's a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Tyler Kirkham. Wonder Twins number one. Exile from the home planet. Alien hero Xan and Jano must navigate life as teens on Earth at South Metropolis High School. This has two different covers for it. There's a regular Stephen Byrne cover. There's also a regular price variant. But also be aware the first appearance of Wonder Twins was in Super Friends number seven that came out in October 1977. Blackbird number five, after taking out her anger on the Paragon Cabals in a big way, there's nowhere in the Los Angeles' four magical territories that Nina can hide. We have a regular cover by Jim Bartel. There's also a regular price variant by Jenny Friesen. Gideon Falls number 11, Father Fred and Norton finally come face to face in the end of the original Sins story arc. We have a regular cover by Andrea Sorrentino. There's also a regular price variant. Age of X-Men Next Gen number one. In an age of utopia, the Summers Institute for Higher Learning is the premier school for the mutant community across the globe. Attendance is mandatory for all mutant children as they learn to become the next generation of marvelous X-Men. We have four different covers for this. There's a regular Chris Bacallo cover, regular price connecting variant by Enhyak Lee. There's also a regular price secret poly bag variant and an incentive variant by Lee Garbett. Amazing Spider-Man number 15. Aunt May is in danger and only Spider-Man can help her. There's a regular cover by Paolo Rivera. There's also a regular price scrolls variant by Lee Garbett. Avengers No Road Home number one. Night has fallen across the universe. Now seven Avengers and one new addition journey forth to bring back the light. But when the threat they face has destroyed even the gods, will anyone make it home? This brings Conan into Marvel continuity with Scarlet Witch. There's gonna be six different covers for it. There's a regular Yasmin Putri cover. There's a regular price connecting variant, regular price Juan Ferreira variant, regular price Mark Brooks hidden gem variant, there's a 1 in 25 incentive Mark Brooks variant, and a 1 in 50 incentive Adam Hughes variant. Dead Man Logan number 4. Logan's adamantium sickness is advancing, and the greatest medical minds of the Marvel U want one last checkup. We have a regular cover by Declan Shelby. There's also a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Gerardo Sofino. I love this variant. This is gonna be my pick of the week. Marvel Tales Black Widow number one. This is Marvel's 80th anniversary, reliving exciting espionage adventures alongside Black Widow. We have a regular Jim Bartel cover. There's also an incentive virgin variant by Jim Bartel. 
Savage Sword of Conan number one. This is a five part tale of swords and sorcery written by Jerry Dugan. It's gonna have seven different covers for it. There's a regular Alex Ross cover, regular price George Perez variant. There's an incentive Kevin Eastman color variant, an incentive Ron Garney color variant, an incentive Raza color variant, an incentive Kevin Eastman sketch variant, an incentive Ron Garney sketch variant, and an incentive Raza sketch variant. Winter Soldier number three. Having pulled RJ out of Hydra, Bucky begins diving into the mystery of the young killer's past. Where does he come from? Who are his parents? And how do you rehabilitate someone who's only ever known death? You give him something new to live for. Crypt of Horror number 38. This comes from AC Comics and it's gonna feature 21 chilling pre-code horror classics. I love pre-code horror. It's really expensive for me to afford. So if you wanna read it, pick this book up. Lollipop Kids number three. In this issue, Nick not only finds out he's a legacy, but that both his parents were also Lollipop Kids. This is from Aftershock Comics. Great series, definitely recommend this. It's been a really fun read. God of Bad Men number one. This comes from Amigo Comics. Raymond Landy, an alcoholic with a crumbling screenwriting career and an inoperable brain tumor, meets inmate Macro Nomad, a space fugitive at a maximum security asylum. A macro and cis raised tumor contains the origin of God. This has two different covers as a regular Chris Zero cover and a regular price variant by David Bircham. Friendo number four, this is from Vault Comics. Thanks to an obscure piece of legislation, Jerry and Leo are now above the law. As they rob big box stores up and down the rest coast with the manufacturer's blessing, their violent exploits are live streamed to millions of disaffected consumers who have been told no one too many times. A regular cover by Martin Simmons. There's also a regular price variant by Kim McLean. So there it is, guys. Those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, February 13th, 2019. Hope all of y'all have a great Valentine's Day this week. This is Brian with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. And I'll see you guys next week. Thank you.